Oh my god, I have nightmares about my dress. After one week, they sent me the picture and it was totally different. I ubah plan. Everyone semua terkejut, including my husband lah. It's just a logistical nightmare. I cannot do this. It's a uh, eloping to another country, a viable option. And yeah, my husband so was like, oh, read it lah. Okay, we don't fly out there. My name is Ju Chen. I'm a teacher, and this is John. Hi, I'm John. I work in uh, construction. We actually met on a work and travel program to America, where we both worked at a uh, theme park. My name is Inder. I come from a background of uh, operations management. I'm Siren. I'm in the fashion business line. Met on Insta. We are the new age couple, you know. <laughs> we have known each other for three and a half years. I'm working at the Victoria's Secret, and my husband working at Fred Perry. Also. Yeah, yeah, we both working as a retailer. Yeah, we both actually married in Instagram three years ago. I'm Sarah. I'm from Strawa. I'm in marketing right now. I'm Kenneth. I'm from Saba. I'm currently a, a senior software engineer. We have like a, a group of friends who who play a particular video game. It's called League of Legends. And my friends are like, oh hey, remember Sarah, the one that we usually sometimes play games with? Uh, she's back. So uh, we're gonna go have a drink with her, you know. Let's let's uh, hang out. So that's when I met her. We became engaged last year. Last year, August. August. We got registered, uh, engaged, registered December thirty first actually. So we did a New Year's Eve regist registration, and then we got married last Christmas. Kita orang tak bercinta lama pun. Macam tadi I cakap, I cakap dengan dia, if you macam serius dengan I, I tak ramai main kalau you nak dekat I. So, you kita kahwin. And then, suddenly dia hantar rumput meninam. We've been together for almost eight years. Eight years. Officially, he proposed to me on my birthday. I think it was two years ago. 2019. 2019. Yeah, 2019, yeah. before COVID. So planning during a pandemic can get a bit anxious because we don't know what's going to happen next. Because our date is going to be in October, our wedding day. So now we're not really sure if we have to spawn or anything. So now we're just waiting. Two months ago, the numbers went up again. So we were a bit concerned that we would have to spawn our wedding. And, and also we were concerned about things like my family not being able to fly over. His family not being able to come from JB. We had all, you know, the dream wedding, the big, big fat Punjabi <laughs> wedding, calling around five, six hundred people. But then came to early last year when the pandemic just started, and we were supposed to actually travel to India uh, for our wedding shopping. Two days before we were flying to India, India decided to, you know, just ban any entry. I was telling Sir and right, okay, I think we have to look at alternatives. Probably just shop in Malaysia. Oh, that oh, was really hard. It's yeah. because uh, to have a Punjabi wedding, the ceremony, uh, items and everything, it's really hard to get here. People fly to India for that reason. We are supposed to get married on July this one, this year. And then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so I decided to check out, okay lah, I want Nika first. And then I uba plan, I make it early on 4 April. Everyone semua terkejut, including my husband lah. I set the camera. I cari baju nikah. We do the ceremony, but like, macam kecil kecil lah, macam just makan makan for family yang dekat dekat. I I don't want to commit to a date or an event not knowing. Cause the last time, the last time this happened to me, I was just like, I was just crying and drinking like my rice wine on the day, just lying on the sofa. I just I can't I can't do that again. So, <clears throat> COVID is definitely 100%. The only only thing getting in my way of getting married. Yeah, I think that's, that's the key word. It's the, it's the uncertainty. It's the, it's the biggest issue. How many times have we postponed it? One, two, three, four, five. At least, at least no, five no, times. No. I think for me, one of the biggest challenges uh, I faced during the planning is that I didn't want to make any decisions due to uncertainty and so for me I was a bit hesitant to pay for anything right now um, in the event that we have to postpone. Obviously the venues in the current SOPs have limited spaces and the concerns of like health safety was still still is on our, on our mind. Uh, 
worried of creating a cluster. So. Yeah, we are worried of creating a cluster. <laughs> Everything else, I had to do it like buy online and stuff, which, yeah, from the scamming to yeah, yeah. yeah to all that. So so we got scammed by few of the vendors. So <laughs> yeah. we lost quite a lot of money around ten yeah. thousand ringgit. The biggest thing was that you know her, her reception gown. And they changed it was, the whole design. Yeah. They changed the whole design and that was like uh, three weeks before our wedding. So I designed thing. it myself here. The biggest challenges, I rasa masa I nak settlekan borang nikah lah. Sebab I kerja, cuti once a week je. Jarang ada masa lah. Masa tu kita orang dah siapkan but nak hantar ke Jabatan Agama Islam Petaling. Something tak okay dengan borang tu. It's kind of tough because <laughs> All I'm thinking about is my stupid um, invitation. To me, the invitation is so personal. Something that you keep, something that you first see about the wedding. Oh my god, I have nightmares about my dress. Okay, I'm lying. That's like the number, the, the creme de la creme of the wedding. That's the number one priority and I still, it haunts me to this day. I'm custom making the dress. I'm supposed to meet with my designer end of last month. And because of COVID, clearly we can't. At this point, I'm so behind on everything. I just, I'm just hoping it's not going to happen. Yeah. Honestly, what advice would I give? Use this time to really get closer, really get to know each other. You're forced to spend more time together, so use it wisely. To people out there that has to deal with relationships not going well, it both of you want your relationship to work. It will work. It's a matter of perseverance. Great relationships don't come like easy. It's not. Number two is that. If you're not willing to make it work, then don't make it work. You should never be pressured to feel like you need this to be happy. It's not a prerequisite of happiness. This day is for you. You want to get married, and if the two of you value it, then you're gonna have to put work and effort into it. It's gonna be a lot of things that won't go your way anyway. <laughs> if pandemic or no pandemic, ultimately just remember that you're gonna marry. <laughs> yeah. you Always have, have a plan D. Yeah. Like yeah. be flexible. Get married when you're ready. Jangan rush kahwin and jangan kahwin sebab trend. I think it's very important to enjoy the whole journey. You know, when you think about it, you be like, why didn't you have fun? If your wedding is for three days, that three days is gonna pass, and you know, you're never gonna get that three days again. And I think a wedding is a very beautiful ceremony, and it should be enjoyed.